everyone, this is Shelly from the Broomfield Children's Library. Welcome to Online Storytime. As you can see, I got my buddy Jack here with me today. He's hanging out while I do some stories. Let's get ready for story time, okay? Ready? Shake those hands out. Ready? Let's do our opening song. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give your hands a clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them. Creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth, but <gasps> do not let them in. Thank you so much for singing with me. I am really excited about this book. We are going to do a book called Robots in Love by T.L. Macbeth. And we have permission to read this book from the publisher, Macmillan. So let's get started. I love the end papers in this book. Can you see? They're hearts. And right away, we have a very interesting picture on our title page. See our little robot? They're plugged into the wall. And you know how when they draw a cartoon of people sleeping, they put a bunch of Z's by the head? Well, our little robot has zeros and ones coming out of their head. All right, let's get started. It was a day like any other. Click. Gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. Munch, munch, munch. See the bread? And then he says, beep. Then I saw her. And look where he is. He's on Electric Avenue. Electric Avenue. Sorry. I had never seen anyone so beautiful. <gasps> Caspi says. <gasps> she is so shiny. There it is again. Electric Avenue. I wanted to say something, but I was too shy. I thought about her all day. Look at our poor robot walked right out in the street in front of these cars. Look at that big long line of cars. Honk, honk, honk. He walked right up to this park bench, bench and sniffed this flower. Sniff. Then he said, whoosh, splash, zap, sizzle, sizzle. Look at that. His head's on fire. There's smoke coming out of his head. He says, I'm okay. Then he went back to Electric Avenue. Then the next morning, I went back to see if she was still there. <gasps> She was. I tried to think of something clever to say, but I was too nervous. Look, there's smoke coming out of his ears. Says, does not commute, compute. Error, error, error. System overload. <sighs> Poor guy. My vision programming was malfunctioning. My hydraulic limbs felt weak. My circuit board nearly jumped out of my chest unit. I would have to try again tomorrow. See, his circuit board is shaped in a heart. The next day, I went to our meeting spot. I finally worked up the courage to talk to her. Greetings, I said. Our connection was electric. <gasps> I set out to make her something beautiful. Look, they have all of this <gasps> with a screwdriver and a magnifying glass. What is being made here? This looks like a blowtorch and a welding helmet. And look, flowers. 
I was so excited I couldn't go into sleep mode. Excitement overload! But the next morning, when I went to see her, like I said, she was gone. <laughs> I looked everywhere. Look, he's like, going around and around. And look, this poor mom is covering the child's ears. Not under this canine. Scanning. Beep, 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 beep. <gasps> Negative. That means he didn't find her. No results found in the log. No trace out here. <sighs> look, he looks so sad. I was about to give up. <laughs> Then look what happened. It says ding! He got an idea. I raced back to our meeting spot. This time I went inside. Look at all these shelves. All filled. <gasps> Before you see that, Good readers always make predictions. So, what do you think he found in the store? Do you know? Think about it for a second. Make a prediction. Ready? Toast O Matic! Display only, not for sale. There she was! We were together at last. He fell in love with a toaster. She said nothing, but she didn't have to. We ran away together. Look there, the store owner's waving his fist. Oh, sorry, having problems with the pages. We have so much in common. Look, they're eating spaghetti together. Like, have you seen that movie Lady and the Tramp? We're both shy. Look, he took the toaster roller skating, or ice skating. This little girl says, is that a toaster? We're both shiny. See the constellations in the sky that look like the toaster and the robot? And we both love toast. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I love this book. But you know... I'm sort of getting hungry. I think I'm going to get a snack. Maybe it's going to be toast. Thanks so much. You guys have a great day. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>